Hey guys, I figured I'd go over some of the comments in a screencast just to make it a little bit easier. Steph, I'm an old time student of your wonderful course, Studio Web. HTML, CSS, JS, PHP, and PHP, MySQL. Where, how can I access the Python section? Well, the Python section is actually a different Python course. We have a Studio Web version and we have a download version. So if you go to the killer video store here, you can get the download version and uh, including the modules, the career paths and so forth. Now, if you get this version and if you want the interactive training via Studio Web, just send me an email. I'll take care of that. Uh, it has everything in the download version except the download version has these two modules here, Python career paths and the specialization, which a lot of people like. Nicholas Cage of Google. So that's my C++ video. I get that. People say I look like Nicolas Cage sometimes, sometimes Al Pacino, sometimes others. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's weird. Uh, what about gold as an investment? Well, first of all, when it comes to investing, for legal reasons, I have to say you shouldn't take your advice from some guy on the web, even though I know my code and I've done investing. I'm not an accredited counselor and I can't really give you advice. Gold, eh, whatever, look at the chart. I made good money in gold back in the day, but I believe tons of people who were once in gold are now into the cryptocurrencies. I love these type of comments from hardcore nerds. So what you are saying is after 20 years, you still don't understand any of the code you have written in these 20 years? Oh yeah, this is his uh, reasoning behind it. If you don't understand machine code, you don't understand code at all. Well, I beg it to differ. And all my apps would say otherwise. Wow, it's James Franco. Same video. I look, according to him, I'm James Franco. I've been selling my coins this weekend. Made a nice profit. I kind of wish I'd bought more earlier this year. Let me tell you. I know what you mean. So here's this guy. Both C and C++ suck. Everybody's got different opinions. But it's right about this. Most C++ jobs require you be in an office. True. It's almost impossible for you to get a C++ project as a freelancer. I would tend to agree. My advice for young programmers, learn to code of the web. If you want to freelance, freelancing is cool. Working for people too is cool. Depends on your personality type. You sound like Donald Trump, except you speak sensibly. I'll let that go. I like this guy's comment about cryptocurrencies. Before people get seriously involved in cryptocurrencies, they need to focus on the fundamentals. Where have I heard that before? of being able to store their crypto holdings safely and securely. Literally billions of dollars have been lost because people no longer remember where their private keys were stored or even what wallet they used. That is funny, but it's true. Steph, write a book on business. I buy it in a heartbeat. By the way, excellent content. Cheers from the Caribbean. Well, thanks. That's one thing I like about the web. Going back to my days on killer sites, killer PHP and the other sites, we deal with people from all over the world. It's fascinating. It's good stuff. Hey, Steph, I recently got an internship working at a company using Rails. Throughout your videos, I've always heard you mention that these days you pick many different frameworks before you'd use Rails. I was just wondering what your reasoning behind this was. I'm planning on becoming a freelancer for my career in the future. Should I invest my spare time in furthering my knowledge of Rails or should I diversify my knowledge and learn other frameworks? So let's see what this guy said here. That's awesome, you got an internship. If you don't mind me chiming in, Steph has expressed preference for other languages, technologies because other established technologies updated to be as fast and as useful as Rails. Actually, PHP runs much faster than Rails. Python and PHP communities are an example of technologies who, possibly inspired by Ruby, to a certain extent, revised their weak points. True. A lot of people, companies, invested in building their platform on Ruby and would rather continue to update what they have than incur the expense of switching to something else. This is also true, but this is also true for the vast majority of websites online that are built on a PHP-based infrastructure. Therefore, your Ruby experience might have niche appeal, which is good. From what I've heard, it might be a tad more difficult to break into the industry with Ruby because the boom slash mania slowed down and the demand for new developers fell off, coupled with boot camps flooding the job market with junior Ruby devs. However, developers move on and new jobs open up sometimes, so your internship experience will definitely be an asset. 
might want to pick up some other web stack knowledge to increase your chances of landing slash keeping positions. But there definitely still are Ruby opportunities out there. The competition might be a bit higher for those positions though. I can't disagree with this busy rand, what he said. It pretty much makes sense. Look in your local area, see where the jobs are, and you're probably going to see a lot of PHP jobs. If you're going into freelancing as a young developer, PHP and the web stack is the king by far. And so you should check into that. You may want to look at maybe specializations in WordPress as well. Lots of work there. So that said, you know, when you learn your Ruby, now that you know your Ruby and Rails, you're getting a lot of experience there. If you uh, really into it, start looking at PHP on the side, maybe Laravel, just to expand your abilities. And you're going to see it's all going to contribute. You looking at PHP and Laravel, which is their framework, which uh, is similar to Rails. It's just going to make you a better programmer overall. So that's what I would do. Okay, I'm six months into Java now a 20 year old without a college or university diploma, and I have no plan on spending time to obtain one. However, for what it's worth, I'm a Oracle certified associate, although I don't rate that certification highly. Oracle certified professional is what I'm aiming for. If I had to gauge my level, I would say I'm somewhat of a junior or perhaps even lower because I don't have a Java work experience, any Java work experience. I'm planning to start searching for a job as soon as I get all my Oracle certifications. So my question is, is that the wrong decision? Should I start searching for a job or perhaps an internship in Java with knowledge I currently have, or should I give it some time as I'm doing now until I'm fully certified and a bit more confident at using the language? I think that you should start looking for a job or a internship right away. Why not? Because anybody will tell you who's professional in just about any field, where you really learn the profession is in the field, doing actual work. Nothing beats work experience. Now, in terms of your degree, you have to look at the type of job. You should know that if you don't get a university degree, that will block you from certain types of jobs working for big companies. Just because of HR departments, human resources, they have certain artificial requirements, like you need X, Y, and Z degree. If you told me, on the other hand, the type of work you're going into doesn't require a degree, freelancing, small business, that kind of stuff, and who cares? Now, in terms of Oracle Certified Associate and Oracle Certified Professional, I'm not sure, I haven't looked into that because it's not my thing, whether or not companies that are hiring Oracle Certified Professionals, whether they expect a university degree as well. So you should look into that before you make your decision whether or not to drop out of school. That said, be very wary of student debt. Student debt you can never let go of. So that's uh, my two cents there. And here's John Doe again. I'm fairly new into Java. Can you please elaborate as why it's, it isn't good if you want to do freelance? Because Java is generally used in very large organizations. Very large organizations tend to not hire freelancers. You can come in as a contractor. But with very large organizations, they're going to probably expect some sort of university degree or a college degree, at least. That's the deal with that. Here's a good thing. Small, small, medium-sized businesses don't care about that. Thing is, small, medium-sized businesses will likely not be using Java. The statistics show that they're much more likely to be using PHP. So U2449 prefers Barbra Streisand than Led Zeppelin. This guy's got the cover to a uh, great Black Sabbath album, Paranoid, and he likes Led Zeppelin. That would make sense. If you like Black Sabbath, there's a 99.8% chance you like Led Zeppelin. Little factoid, Robert Plant doesn't like Black Sabbath for some reason. Anyway, I think the first four Black Sabbath albums are fantastic. Stefan, I would be most grateful if you could speak about data sciences in your vlogs. I'm just beginning to get into coding, so I'm very much a newbie. I am thinking Python, R, or maybe Octave. Also, I wish you a happy Christmas from Ireland. Keep up the great work. I find your advice very helpful. Ah, so if you're going to get into data sciences, there's an assumption there that you have a scientific background, I would imagine, so that you can uh, you can look at the, science, the data that you're processing in, in a way that's uh, knowledgeable. That said, I would choose Python over other languages like R for for the data sciences, simply because Python is flexible. 
Python could be used in all kinds of different things. I suppose you could argue that with other of the languages, but these more specialized languages, yeah, I, w I would go with Python because if you decide you're not going to do data sciences, you got a, a language here, Python, that could be used in all kinds of different areas, including AI, machine learning, web app creation, server automation, and so forth.